to ascertain what view to take here. Well, I've decided that uh, this view here might just do me, so I've set my paints up here in the back of the car. I'm going to try to paint that larger canvas. I was going to do a smaller one, but over this view here, as the sun goes down behind. So I'm going to start the painting now and really thrash some colour in. Not that easy to find where to put the camera for you, but I think here should do. I shouldn't be in your way here, I don't think. So let's get going. Get the paints out. Because the water freezes while I'm painting. But let's get the composition worked out quickly first. I want to get in that lovely tree there, right through to here. The tree's about ooh, comes in halfway here. And uh, the composition, which is not going to be helpful. The wind's blowing me over. Not very helpful at all. Put that back there. And should be right. That's why I've sheltered behind the car a bit to make sure things are in. Bring it round a bit more this way, maybe out of the out of the wind. That's like that. Let's make sure you're all right now. All of these things we have to do to. And I see the sun's going down behind there. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I should get a bit of sunset coming through. It's now starting to drizzle on me. Which is not ideal. Wind's weather's not very nice, but hopefully I'll succeed. I don't want to get the camera too wet. Now oh, where was I? Uh, this lovely tree that comes up into here. Right up through there. And the space through here and some bushes here. Which would be quite nice. I should have managed that, I think. Move it to speed. Let's get painting quick. We've got some strange greys and things going on here today. tones in and the canvas covered so that I can then build up the colours as the sun goes down. Hopefully when the shower goes over I'll be able to pick up the sunset afterwards as long as my camera doesn't get too wet. I'm hidden slightly under here so I'm all right. Let's get that right through there first. Going through to the yellow ochre in the distance here but back in a minute just get just want to get some colour on first. Get rid of the white canvas. So it's very thin paint at the moment. And then the, the actual distance and can we do that? And just in my drawing through this at the minute, just so I know where I am. I don't know if I'm taking on something too big here, but we'll see. I always like a challenge, and I do like to get outdoors and do this plein air work. Uh, but it does give me that push that I really need. Get a big brush down to it and really get going. These nice big clouds here. Get those going. Back down a little bit tighter. Oh, it's freezing cold, the wind's blowing, and the car's just sheltering me a bit, which is good. Let's try and really get these. You can see where the rain has already hit it a bit. The tree comes through just here anyway, and then through here it's a lot warmer. We've got uh, much greener just coming through there. And the, right down into here, from the hedge. Uh, 
some base colour on first and I can work up the colours. So I'm hoping that the cloud's going to come over and break up and the sun just gets low enough for me to pick up this sunset. That's what I'm hoping. Come on to this side as a golder. <coughs> an orange coming in there. All sorts of lovely colours happening here soon. Orange pink. That just here. I'm coming up through there. These tree bushes. This hedge comes and of course down into here with all these brambles and bracken. Ah uh, yes, we've already got some light sky going across behind, so if this dries off, hopefully I can start to get those lighter colours on. Let's get that warm green. Yeah. Make sure we've got things on camera, yes. Far enough, I don't, but I think I will. Look at the scene I'm doing again. You can see the, the light has dropped right down at the moment. Here we are, look. At least I've got shots of that if I need to continue later in the sky. Let's get on with it again. Time is short. The sun's going down. Yesterday I tried to paint. I couldn't get the easel set up in time for the sun coming down. So today I've set it up well ahead of time to get my caps on. You can see this all right. I'm going to work this up. Now let's have a look at that closer. There's closer colours here already. So that comes up here into the hedge. Straight away with just established where all of these foreground bits of grass is and it goes on down there behind. In the distance there we've got a very slight move blue. So those trees come through behind there. Fantastic. First start. <laughs> Chilly, but I missed it. And yesterday I set up when I was too late. The sun was going down before I could get the, the easel up. So I thought I'll get ahead this time and hope that the clouds come over and I can just catch in between. So I get it covered. Yeah, it's a nice job. Is this a hobby or is this a business stroke hobby or a, a little bit of both? I thought so. Yeah. To give you a card that you can catch up later because I put the films onto YouTube. And you can see how it, how it goes. Then. Oh, great. Oh, but, uh, I see you. Yes, yeah, so I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Slap Thank ones you if I can you. get you. Yeah. Might find it interesting. You're from Bombay, are you? No, we're just from Saxby. Saxby. Oh, right. Just the road, just nice for a walk. Out. So yeah. you quite local yourself. Bombay at the moment. Oh, I spend, usually spend five or six months a year in France in summers and spend my winters here. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow. Do you do any courses? Hmm? You take, do you do co teach courses? Yeah. We, we, well, I mean, I'm just setting them up here. I only take two or three at a time right. when I'm here in the winters. But, say, follow through on the... And going with some oil painting. I've done watercolour in the past. Give it watercolour, yeah. Everything. Yeah. I teach everything. Watercolour, oils, yeah. mixed media, the lot. And there's another lady in the village who wants to start, so right. we could probably hey. get something okay. together on that. Speaking Drop me a line time. later. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Have a good one. See you. Right. On we go. Let's look at these hazy blues happening. Because we've got that landscape going all right back here, and then right back to the distance here. And it uh, comes through over here through into the distance there. Don't that colour a little bit too strong at the moment and I'll come back on that in a minute. Just find these trees down here a bit more. And just glaze that back a bit more here. Establish these, these very distant colours which I'm going to have to do with a smaller brush in a minute just, just to get me started. Mm -hmm. 
just feel these. So I know that that sun's going down very rapidly behind there and I have to get these things in as soon as I can. Slightly warmer areas of field coming through here. Up and right into the background here, through here. And behind and down here there's some purple. Me again. And down here, we've got all this lovely hedge coming in. All these briars and brambles, and I've got to really find the texture for those. Look, right round to here in the foreground, at the edge of the road here. And the way that that comes up here, those hedges right the way through there. Fast, quick brush strokes to pick this up. I'm almost ready to pick up the smaller brushes now and start to work in more detail, but I can't do too much until that sun gets a bit lower on the sky, not too much. I may have to come in with some smaller brushes down here. Let's just wash this big brush out. I'll come back with the colours over the sky when it comes a little bit lower and the clouds come through. Just try and capture it then bit by bit fast. But for the minute, let's use a half inch flat I think. Just to pick this up again. It's got some lovely colours coming through here now but I've got to try, really try and find these, these colours now. In the distance here. Yeah, we've got some beautiful light happening in the distance. through into the, against the distant sky there. This is nice when I've got so many colours in my palette that I can choose from as well because I've got the option to... <sighs> to mix or to just use colours straight from the palette which is handy. work so fast to try and capture this that it's all changing constantly. Yeah. So many colours are changing as well. because we've got to capture this in a matter of moments. As the sun goes down now, I've got to go back to the sky and really try and pick that up again. Rapid techniques of slabbing the paint on, finding these colours. Here in the foreground it's much darker. I've got this really strong bronze purple coming into the edges here, working up and through there. I'm down to a Prussian in places there, put black into it to just push that colour back a bit. 
circles and beautiful colours that are coming up in here. Drawing's a bit difficult there. Find that again. Come through. Look for these colours, really, really. Search them out quickly. You've got to make instant decisions on them. It just isn't the time to, to waste thinking about it. You've got to make a decision and put them down. I'm going to try that sunset just as this clouds go past. A massive cloud coming up and I'm not going to get the sunset I wanted, I don't think, but I'm going to try, even so, to pick up some of these uh, lovely colours down here. Starting to get a line of um, light ochre and golds going back there. Just start to establish those. Along here. It's going to change completely as the sunset actually happens. We've got to just go with it. I'm going to use my bigger brush again in a minute. It happened down into the distance there as well, which is rather beautiful. We have the, the light shining on the bits of water into the distance here. Slightly stormy, but ready to snow on me and sleet on me as it is. Changing my brushes to suit my needs here. See a little bit of light blue coming in up here. these colours all of the time. Right. 
will just come through the sky down there. That's sea colour. Hmm? Seagulls going over me. Looks like a mess at the minute, but I'm just hoping to get a boat together and go on. Moving across the clouds are scudding across now. Orange isn't. And the sunset is just happening around this area here, which is what I want. Certainly what I want. can't afford to be prissy about it or worry about it, you've just got to get on and really get into the whole atmosphere of the thing and enjoy as much as you can, as quickly as you can. sky coming through here. Got a light coming through there now, it's gorgeous isn't it? Comes down into there. Same blue is going to be happening through into the background a bit down here. Just subtly coming down through and more turquoise green across here actually. A little bit more green. And bring that through there. And all the 
beautiful blue and greens going on in the background there. Now here I've got to get a bit stronger as the sun goes down so I'm just hopefully I've just timed it about right today to be able to pick this up. lovely tree in here next. There's a beautiful thorn tree coming in there that I want to establish now. Coming in to halfway through here. Comes right up into the picture here. and deep blues against this framework. I have to use a smaller brush to pick out these lovely dark pieces against the light here in a minute, just to establish this for the moment. Where it's going here against the light. Same here. Even if I don't complete it, I'll have had the pleasure of being out here and doing this. That's the point. Try and capture the moment of this event. Should get a bit more of a sunset in a minute if I'm lucky. Sunset's just coming down here now, I'm really getting some light behind there. Before I go to a smaller brush, I've got to get that sunset worked out. It's coming up behind here. A little bit more towards my whites now. Easing us back here, these fields, as the light comes across here. too much of the tree yet because I know I'm going to have to paint the tree over this yet so I want to get this more established. I've got to really lay on some beautiful light use a smaller brush but I need to get these very very light bits of water into the background there. I'm going to have to use a lighter brush I can see. Small brush in The sun is really just setting down through here now. Behind this tree. So I can really start to plaster these colours. We're really getting that lovely effect of sunlight gleaming down through here. Right through this tree. Beautiful goals, yellows. This is what I wanted to, to this is what I came for, to try and capture these colours that I'm doing now and uh, get the feeling of the, the light 
out against the darks here. I can see the sun shining on my face even possibly. You can see how beautiful it is. We can get this wonderful effect of light. And it straightens my eyes, I'm having a job even to see now. As that gets lower I shall be able to adjust the colours. It's cool to get warm to get the effect of this sun blowing through here. I'm really try to get that sun blowing through. Okay, capture these lovely. There's the sun's just going down now, so I've really got the chance now to pull these colours out. As the paint is so wet. That's the trouble. The paint is so wet. Trying, trying, struggling, struggling to get it to capture this effect that I want. It's not easy. The half light I've got now going on. It's much, much deeper colours happening down there. And with pure colours going on into here to really try and get the glow that I want. Because the sun is rapidly going down now and as you can see I have not a lot of time left to capture that which is what I'm after. But I've had great fun doing it and that's been a greater part of the, the effort. Let's get some of this lovely. He's cooled into the foreground here a bit more now. A bit too warm there. We just want to lower the light here in the foreground to bring out the light in the background more. So a fast painting study, whatever you want to call it, of this scene. So sort of going between with a bit of the lights here and there perhaps. Just picking up the I can't do much more on it now, we're going to have to call it a day at that. But 
that's got to be about it, I think, for today's study. Let's stop it at that because otherwise the light's gone and we're going to make a mess. <laughs> We've already made a mess, but anyway. Here's our scene. And it's now gone to a deadly grey and the light's gone, the sun's gone down behind, but hopefully just succeeded there. Set in the back of the car as this horrible weather comes on now. Well there we are in this wintry cold day. Oh.